The September 26, 2017 meeting of the Intergovernmental Relations Committee will now come to order. Will the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Brew? Here. Ms. Cayley? Here. Mr. Rocco? Here. Mr. Wilcox? Here. Chairman Zell? I am here. Is there anyone signed up for the public forum? There is not. Is there anyone present who is not signed up to speak who would like to address the committee at this time? Seeing none, the next item on the agenda is the approval of the minutes. You have the July 25th, 2017 minutes before you. They will stand approved unless the clerk is notified of any changes by the end of the day. Next item on the agenda is new business. Mr. Clerk. Referral 17-0257, authorized. This is moved by Legislator Bruce, second by Legislator Rockow. Is there any discussion on this item? Seeing none, all those in favor? Signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Item carries. Next item. Referral 17-0261, authorized. Second. Moved by Legislator Rocco, second by Legislator Brew. Is there any discussion on this item? Seeing none, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? Item carries. Next item. Referral 17-0262. Item uh, moved by Legislator Brew, second by Legislator Rocco. Any discussion on this item? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? Item carries. Next item, please. Referral 17-0264, amend resolution. Second. Moved by Legislator Rocco, second by Legislator Brew. Any discussion on this item? Legislator Cayley. Just to be clear, yes. uh, Mr. Chairman, we're on 64, right? Uh, that is correct. All right. We were just moving along at a clip. Yes, we were. Um, through the chair to the administration, is this uh, Is this the first time we've entered into this agreement with the Greece Central School System? Chair, no it is not. Our previous uh, memo of understanding and agreement was five years ago, has expired, and needs renewal. Thank you. And then through the chair, uh, approximately how many agreements or how many school districts do we actually have? Thank you. Thank you, David. Do we have this agreement with or an agreement such as this with through the chair uh, through the project that this represents for this school year under the guidance of the U of R it is with these two school districts all right thank you any other questions on this item seeing none all those uh, in favor signify by saying aye, aye. any opposed item carries next item Referral 17-0274. Moved by Legislator Bruce, second by Legislator Rocco. Before we vote on this item, uh, inside the referral, I just want to point out that there is a small typo in, in uh, relation to this referral. In the second paragraph of the referral, it mentions uh, the BOCI system, and it should say wheatland Chile Central School District. I just wanted to say that. Yep. Any discussion on this item? Legislator Brew. Yes, through the chair of the administration, um, is this the first year that the county is supplying Wheatland Child High School District with a resource officer? Through the chair, Holly Moynihan, attorney for the sheriff. This is the fourth year of this uh, program, or the fourth time we've had this agreement. There was a uh, lapse in years. The last time we had a contract or an IMA with Wheatland Child High School District was in 2015. Thank you. And through the chair, one more question. Um, does the annual agreement of $100,000, does that reflect the previous year's amounts as well? Through the chair, Jennifer Curley from the Sheriff's Office. Um, no, the previous years were different funding amounts because we received the funding, um, the other three agreements. This agreement, the school, um, was able to secure the funding. So I think the previous year one was 50,000. I think the year before that was, I think 80,000. Okay. Thank you. Legislator Kayleigh. Um, thank you, Mr. Chairman, through you to the administration. I guess um, I don't quite understand that at all, but if you could make that a little bit clearer, the differences in the, the grant amounts they were for the agreement. Through the chair, there were different grants every single time. So I think the first year we did it was actually a truancy grant through DCGS. Okay. Um, and then 
I think the, I think we did the truancy grant two years in a row. Then we, we received funding from Senator Gallivan for 50,000. And then this year, the, the Wheatland School received the grant from somewhere. I believe it's Senator Gallivan and another grant through BOCES. So that's why I don't know, because I'm not administering the, the grant, obviously. All right, thank you. A um, little clearer. Um, through, the through the chairman to the administration. Um, is, this is higher than 2016. Could you give me an idea of what the SRO's actual economic pack, you know, package is here, what the salary is that um, it's higher? Um, I realize that we're not paying the money. We're just, I, I'm just trying to understand the salary and the fringe benefits on this, seeming that it goes up and down. Are you getting the same amount? I, I, there's like four different questions in here. Yeah, let, let me explain it. <laughs> Through the chair, um, last year's funding, we didn't start the SRO, or the previous year's, the 15, I think it was 14 through 15. We didn't start the SRO until January, and it ended in June. This will be almost a full year of school. Okay. That's the difference. Any other discussion on this item? <laughs> All those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? Item carries. Are there any other matters to come before this committee? Seeing none. The September 26, 2017 meeting of the Intergovernmental Relations Committee stands adjourned. The next meeting of the Intergovernmental Relations Committee will be held on Tuesday, October 14, 2017 at 5 p.m.